I know what you're thinking, how can a motorcycle styled and named after a trend made popular in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s usher a motorcycle brand into more modern times? The answer, at least as I see it, is far simpler than one might expect. The bike may be a little retro, but it's aimed directly at a young audience. The Scout dropped like an atomic bomb into the cruiser sphere. Headlines both inside and outside motorcycling praised it for proving that cruisers didn't have to be heavy and make little power and for making cruisers exciting again. And, while I agreed when looking at its performance, the Scout's appearance still screamed the leather fringe, tassel, and a long white ponytail were best to complete the look. Like the rest of Indian's lineup, the Scout's styling was designed to invoke the brand's heritage and fond feelings of America's oldest motorcycle company. It's what you do when competing with a brand whose logo feels almost synonymous with the American flag, but it isn't the best at capturing newer and younger riders. So, while bobbers are inherently retro when looking at the current range of motorcycles offered in 2017, it's the first motorcycle Indian has designed with the goal of appealing to guys like yours truly. Young professionals and millennials, I learned last week that I'm actually part of the micro generation known as Xenial, who likes stylish things that skew towards the hip. Okay, if I have to say it, hipsters, and hipster adjacent, 